Hello, Ronnie here from Ronnie Lynn Fitness. Today I want to give you a little story uh, that I was just telling my friend Shallon and she thought that it would be a really great thing to share with everybody because she found it kind of inspirational. So the story starts out <laughs> that um, I've been waking up at four o'clock in the morning every day for the last month um, because that's when I do all my work. Um, I'm very much a morning person and I kind of decided through a series of events, which I'm about to tell you about, uh, that waking up in the morning and doing my work before I go to my regular job is actually the best choice for me and my productivity. So uh, about a month ago, uh, my husband and I got back from a three week long trip in Europe and the weekend after we got back, our really good friend, Bo DePena, was playing a country western show at um, a local venue, one that's just down the street from us. And he's our friend, and so whenever he plays music there, he always comes and stays at our house with us after the fact. And um, uh, we were hanging out the next day. He hung out with us until he had to go to his next show. and. He is just a really inspirational dude. He um, quit his full-time job this year to be able to do music full-time, basically out of necessity because he had so many gigs and so many shows that he was playing that he was basically forced to quit his job. So he's awesome. And he was talking to me about Ronnie Land Fitness and my business and I was telling him that uh, hard, I have a hard time motivating myself to work on blogs or videos or social media posts or whatever um, after I get off of work because I have a very emotionally demanding job. So after I spend 10 hours at my job, it's really hard for me to come home and invest time into running and fitness. So he was just, he said some really positive and inspirational things to me about how you really have to put effort into the things that you love and you just it's kind of um sometimes you just have to put in more work than what you think because that's how you make progress and that's how things move forward and it kind of got me thinking that you know i've been playing kind of small i've been making a lot of excuses for myself as to why my business hasn't been going in the direction that i want and having the trajectory that i want so I was like, you know what, Ronnie? You know that you're most productive in the morning. You know that when you get home from work, you have zero energy for this. And oftentimes you write things and you think it's shit just simply because you don't have energy. And so I decided that um, I already wake up at five o'clock in the morning to go to my job anyway. And so I just decided, you know, why not wake up an hour earlier, wake up at four, and get your day started and get your day started with some creativity, with some writing, um, with some picture editing or whatever the things are that need to happen that day um, that correspond with my business. And I've been doing that for about a month. Uh, my alarm is set for 3.58. <laughs> I um, don't wanna be a dick to my husband, so I basically get out of bed immediately when my alarm goes off. I'm not I'm not like a snooze button person, mostly because I don't want to be that bed partner. <laughs> um, but my alarm goes off at 3.58. I get out of bed. Um, I put on like some yoga pants and I stretch for the first 10 to 15 minutes and then uh, make a little cup of tea and sit down and write for the remainder 45 minutes. Um, I have a goal every day to write 300 words and... Um, most days I write 700 plus so there's definitely something to be said for that magical four o'clock in the morning hour where I just feel super creative and super motivated um, so so far this has been like the most amazing change that I've made in my life in a long time and um, it's just been really positive for my mental state I I go to work every day now and I feel for one a lot less tired because I've already been awake and I'm already kind of energized to be able to get to work at a quarter to six and I have been in a lot better mood because what I was doing before was I would get home from work and I would be stressed out because I would have to make dinner and do laundry and do all of these other 
responsibilities, uh, domestic responsibilities. And on top of that, I was trying to find time to spend time with my husband, whom I love very much, as well as spend time on my business, which I also love and want to devote time to. So it was becoming a really big challenge for me to try and do everything all in the evening and it would just leave me stressed out and grumpy and then I would wake up the next day and would still have that lingering chronic stress and it just really wasn't serving me very well. So having that time specifically allotted in the morning where I'm able to write almost a thousand words every single day if I'm feeling really motivated has really helped my mental state at the end of the day be super positive and super relaxed and I'm able to spend you know really nice evenings with my husband I'm able to do a lot more things around my house you wouldn't know that with the dirty laundry behind me <laughs> but it has been so beneficial for me and so motivational for me and my business and I feel like the content that I've been putting out in the last month has been way more top tier because I actually am putting a lot of focused mental effort into it. Um, the beauty about being awake at four o'clock in the morning and having somebody else live in your house is that I literally can't do anything but sit down at my computer and write. I can't get any of those other domestic chores or anything done because if I did, I would wake up my husband and like I said, I don't want to be a dick. So. It's really nice to just have that quiet, like refreshing time to just sit with my thoughts and to write things down and to focus on my goals. So it makes me think about um, Jade Tita. He is a fitness and nutrition coach. Um, he's my business coach's ex-husband. He is a wonderful human being and he has this quote that he says, easy is earned. And the situation that I'm in right now definitely feels like that. It feels like I am putting lots of effort into my business. I'm putting a lot of effort into my regular life. And I know that at some point it's going to pay off for me. Just as with Bo, my friend who's a musician, he worked so hard for so many years to build relationships and practice his craft and create amazing music. And now that's what he's doing full time. He's doing what he loves full time and he's enjoying himself and he's traveling to a bunch of different states touring and all of his hard work is paying off. So I want to encourage you today that if you have a goal that you're trying to pursue, you if you have some place that you're trying to go in your life, start to put in the hard work. Whether it's a fitness goal, a nutrition goal, a career goal, a life goal, a relationship goal, anything, if you put enough hard work into it, you're going to get results out at the end and getting to a spot where you have a maintenance and where things are easy, that spot is earned. It's earned through lots of hard work. It's earned through dedication and pushing through times where you're lacking motivation because as I've talked about before, if you've watched any of my other videos or read any of my blogs, you know that I do not believe that motivation is something that lasts. It is very much a fleeting idea and something that goes away really quickly. And there are times when we have zero motivation, but we still have to push through the hard points and continue to work towards our goals, even though we don't feel like it and even though we're not motivated. So if you have something that you're trying to go for right now, I encourage you to do the hard work. I encourage you to start today to get some things done Maybe that involves waking up at four o'clock in the morning. Maybe that involves staying up until midnight. Whatever type of person you are. I'm a morning person, so I like 4 a.m. But do the hard things because the hard things are what pay off. And eventually it will be easy because you've earned it. So that's my little story for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. And um, if you're working towards something, I would love to hear about it. So please comment or message me and let me know what you're working towards. And if there's any way that I can help you, here I am. And I'll be up at four in the morning to answer any of your questions. So let me know. <laughs> Thanks, guys.